I can't not believe the audacity of some people. I wore orange yesterday because I'm against gun violence. I didn't do it to impress anybody. I did it because I wanted to. Well, the people, uh, shocks you or not, I am against gun violence. This is about Nikki Haley, the stupid South Carolina governor who wants to compare a psychotic mass murderer to my presidential candidate, Donald Trump. You believe the fucking shit she was saying? Jeez. Oh, what did she say? She went on TV and said, well, Donald Trump sounds like Dylan Roof or something with the shit that Donald Trump was saying. She's comparing a psychotic little social degenerate nerd twat killer to my presidential candidate? Are you fucking kidding me? So, I was uh, I was uh, watching this. I was uh, reading the news, this news story, internet news story, and I forgot what the internet page it was. But the title, which was pure bigoted, the title reads: "Kid who got Confederate flag banned faces the death penalty. Two counts of the death penalty, or whatever." First off, he's not a kid. He's like 19, 20 years old. He needs to take responsibility for his actions. Second off, he didn't get the Confederate flag banned. He was a deprived little shit who didn't get his way and just had fucking whatever mental problems he had and walked inside of a church and killed, killed some people. He's a psycho. This little shit stain, this little shit... This little poop, this little twat, did not get the Confederate flag banned. You know what got the Confederate flag banned? A bunch of liberal twats who can't handle free speech. I'm a supporter of the Confederate flag. I got a heritage, you know, my roots go back to Missouri. I'm, you know, I'm part redneck. Ancestors back to Missouri. That that Confederate flag means something in my family. That's a heritage. You know, that's my heritage. It's nothing Nazi related or anything like that. If you understand what it stands for, it's nothing like Nazism or communism or nothing like that. Ah. Uh -uh. It's about the Confederacy. There's nothing racist about a fucking piece of cloth. Bullshit. So just because some deprived little shit goes on a murderous rampage and he flashes the Confederate flag, it just, this is liberalism 101. At its finest. Oh my God, I can't stand people. So if some psycho goes on a killing rampage and flashes the U.S. flag, are we going to say conservatives and patriots are bad? These are not real patriots. Dylan Roof is an asshole. He's a fucking Nazi. That's what he is. He's a fucking murderous killer. And I hope they give him the death penalty. He does not represent Confederate flag supporters like myself. Okay, I'm a right-wing conservative. These fuckers that take the Confederate flag and put white sheets on themselves and yells white power, KKK, and all that racist shit, they don't speak for, for me. Because I'm not like that.
But I'm tired of these fucking liberals that want to take these little psychos. There's a guy on Twitter, I think his name is Neil, uh, shit, I can't remember his, whatever, Neil something. If you look at Donald Trump's tweet tweets, he shows up in Donald Trump's tweets on Twitter a lot. Neil something, he claims he's a 14-year-old kid, and on his, on his uh, profile, he's got Ku Klux Klan, this, and proud Nazi, or whatever. You can, you can find, probably find his profile. He shows up a lot. He's like one of the first Twitter users that shows up on a lot of Donald Trump's tweets. These people do not... These people do not represent people like me. These little KKK Nazis walking around. I don't stand for that shit. I mean, I'm sure I'm, I, I'm sure that I've said racist jokes in the past, you know, just as a troll, you know. I mean, who hasn't? Who hasn't said a racist joke in the privacy, or you know, maybe spewed a racist joke online or something? Who, who, who hasn't done that? But I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about these little. Nazis that walk around, these little fucking social degenerate nerds that haven't graduated middle school yet, who's their nuts haven't dropped yet, and they want to take the Confederate flag and the Nazi flag I hate that. I don't want to compare the Confederate flag to Nazism. I really, I really don't. But a lot of these fucking little Nazi KKK supporters do that shit. And it pisses me off. It should piss off any white person. Or anybody for that matter. Doesn't matter what race you are. It makes the rest of us conservatives look bad. It, it's, it's ridiculous. Dylan Roof. He's a little twat stain. He's a nobody. A little deprived, whatever the fuck he is. Well, I hope they kill his ass. I hope they give him the death penalty. I, I'm, I'm a firm believer in a death penalty. But I don't appreciate South Carolina governor. That stupid fucking bitch comes up here and wants to compare Donald Trump to Dylan Roof. What the fucking audacity of her? She just turned liberal. She's just as stupid as Mitt Romney. Now supporting Hillary Clinton. I, I, I'll never turn liberal. I might support some Democrats. Not very many of them. There's a couple of, couple of them out there. It ain't too bad. That's like a rare... Where me supporting a Democrat is like a rare thing. There's only like a couple I support. You know, the Phoenix mayor, he's a Democrat. He's a genuine good guy. I met him before. I met him in, I met the Phoenix mayor. I met him back in, uh, shit, 2014. I was at the Memorial Day Parade. There was a Memorial Day Parade in 2014. I met, I met the Phoenix mayor before. He's a, he's a, he's a good guy. But anyway... Gringa. I don't know. I don't I ain't got much. I ain't got much more to say. That's the video. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this thing. South Carolina governor is stepping over her her boundaries. Her her, her uh her fucking uh. Uh. -uh. She's crossing the line. Dylan Roof. I don't care what anybody says. He deserves to fucking die. You don't walk inside of a church and murder innocent people. He's just like the rest of these cycles out there. And I hope they give him the next sentence. And I hope they put, put a fucking needle in his arm. And I send my condolences to anybody that lost a loved one at the church. I send my thoughts and prayers. And I send my thoughts and prayers to anybody that lost victim, anybody relative, anybody that lost relatives due to gun violence.
were orange yesterday that was all right that's the video one thing about YouTube I've learned in the past you just got to be yourself just be yourself that's the best way to do it just do what you do that's one thing I've learned